Hey everybody, it's uh, Jeff and Justin, the Frustrated Rock Stars, again with another podcast, another special podcast, yep. because uh, we got an interview with Cross Canadian Ragweed, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, we did an earlier podcast about is country the new rock, right. you know, with the way music is now, what's rock and roll, what's country, uh, and these guys are the epitome of it. It's funny because there's like so many different camps within country too, there's like your purists, and your new country fans, and even among country fans, they don't really know. Uh, right. Let alone an outsider. Right. Not, not that we are, but I'm just saying, if you're a guy in the street, I mean... If you hear a bit that sounds like Leonard Skinner, do you think rock and is roll? Is Tim McGraw country? Right. Is Leonard Skinner country? Right. Uh, who knows? Well, but check anyway. out the, uh, the, that, the, the uh, country rock podcast. But in the meantime, check out this band, Cross Canadian Ragweed. They are uh, they're up and coming, and they are really are pursuing the country market. But right. to me, they're rock and roll. Kind of like, uh, what's his name, Shooter Jennings. You ever listen to him? I haven't listened to him. Shooter Jennings. With his name alone, you got to think he's country. He is country, but he's very like Leonard Skinner. He's excellent. So again, but but he's he's probably in the country section at the CD store. But if you listen to it, you'd probably think, oh, that belongs on a rock station. Right. So and these guys are the same thing. Check them out. Hey, concert fans! I'm here with uh, Jeremy and Cody from Cross Canadian Ragweed. These guys are opening for George Thorogood here at the Roxy Theatre tonight. How are you tonight? Good. How are you? All right, excellent. Now, for those who aren't familiar with CCR, that's uh, Cross Canadian Ragweed, not not the other one. How would you guys describe describe your music, your sound? Well, we get a lot of uh, a lot of country airplay. I think it's just because they don't really know where to put us. But I mean, as far as we're concerned, and our fans are concerned, it's just rock and roll, right. you know. And of course. We get played on the edge of country and wide open country, but I mean it's nothing. It's nothing different than it was when Skinner was hot. And right. Marshall Tucker was hot. You know, it's just now everything's so formatted and it has to yeah. fit a certain place. Yeah. And, and rock and roll radio would probably never play us. Right. And country barely does. And it's too bad because I heard your sound check and that was rock and roll. Yeah, it's rock. That was rock and roll. Yeah. Cool. So uh, you guys are, are touring with, or you got a few dates coming up with George Thorogood starting tonight. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys get hooked up with him? Booking agent. Is that how it works? Booked just the, bo the booking yeah. agents just kind of like, hey, you guys will go there. Or? Pretty much, that's how that's that's how it usually goes anyway. But we feel pretty honored to be playing with yeah. George Thurgood. I mean, he's, he's a legend. Yeah. So who who else have you guys have you guys gone on the road with anyone else like oh, man. is known as him? Skinner, uh, Marshall Tucker, Sammy Hagar. Uh, we got an Almond Brothers thing coming up. Um, man, who else? Johnny Lang. Yeah, Johnny Lang. That was a fun run. Uh, Dirks Bentley on the countryside. Uh, Keith Urban on the countryside. And uh, a little bit of everybody. I mean, wow. You know, we, we got a show that's our show coming up in uh, on Labor Day in Dallas with Nugent. Oh, cool. Uh, the Motor City Mad Band. Yeah, Nugent and a bunch of Texas country bands. So. Nice. That'll be fun. Uh, I also saw you guys are doing one of these rock and roll cruises this summer. Yeah. What's that all about? Seven Days, uh, Cozumel, Jamaica, and somewhere else. And uh, that's just seven days of music. It's uh, us and our, our friends. My brother-in-law's a musician. He's on the boat. Wade Bowen, guy named Stanley LaRue, and Reckless Kelly out of Austin. And, uh, and you guys kind of like take turns playing? Yeah, the first night's like a beginning, like an opening night acoustic. We do acoustic on the deck. And the next night will be Stoney and Wade opening for Reckless Kelly. And then the next night will be Stoney and Wade opening up for us. And then a jam night where everybody just does their deal. Wow, that's cool. Because that's kind of a new thing, these rock and roll cruises. People kind of going out on the, doing doing a whole, I guess, week of shows with just sharing the bill. Yeah. That seems like it'd be a lot of fun, especially for you guys kind of just partying and yeah, it's, it's having always, fun. Yeah, it's always a good time, that's for sure. Lots of sun, lots of, lots of suds. Lots of booze. Yeah. Uh, booze cruise. Cool. Well, now your last album, Garage, came out last October? Yep, October 4th. How's that been going for you? I think we're looking at 120,000 right now. Wow. So it's it's going pretty good. It's pretty impressive. You guys got any plans to go back in the studio this year? Any new material you're working on? Uh, always working on new material. But we have a live record coming out. Um, we record it in July, live from uh, Kane's Ballroom in Tulsa. And it'll be out all late summer, early fall. Cool. And then studio, studio record be out next summer, cool. or, or 2007. Awesome. All right, well, good luck tonight, guys. Thank you. Good luck with the tour, man. Thanks for coming out and talking to us. We look forward to seeing you, man. <laughs> Thank you very Have much. Have a lot of fun.